All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Dororo, episode 22. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, we had our uh, uh, encounter with Hiyakimaru and Tahomaru. Yes, and no bodyguards. animals were harmed. Yes, yes, they were unharmed. That's right. They the were... harm was unharmed. <laughs> yep. But, uh -huh. but specifically, there were some bodyguards that were lost of limbs. Yeah, bodyguards that lost parts of their bodies um, as they were guarding, but then they were saved. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and shame on them for that. And then uh, Hyakumaru got blown into a canyon. And yeah. the horse pieces reassembled into a flaming apocalypse nightmare horse. So... Hyakumaru will totes ride. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Incoming demon fire shadow facts. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent there. style. Yeah. Yes, indeed, um, indeed. Doro's been captured. Doro has indeed been captured. Mm -hmm. And this is the classic bit where now the hero has to come back yes. to uh, his homeland to mm -hmm. stop the evil emperor from summoning the next demon. Well, that's but the other thing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the other thing. Hyakimaru should be able to do this pretty well. I mean, he's almost unstoppable, but uh -huh. but they've been teasing over and over again that there's a final demon. And it's collected all the body Pokemons so that yeah. now it will be the one that Hyakimaru has to kill in order to get the rest of his body back, probably. So, you know, we've had a theory going on for a while now that one of the remaining Daigo family members, either the father or the son, will Or do the mother. No. I don't think it's going to be the mother. Will do some kind of another deal they'll double down right. on the deal deal or no deal yeah and mm. and and in some ways that's like oh man like yeah like, mm. like yep. i i almost want it to not be that because i would rather the family be its own solvable solution and what have you mm. and the demon is basically the 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 kind of the you know prequel finale to that finale you know oh gotcha i always saw it as being like the finale after the finale kind of a thing but that, that oh works that too. that works too yeah mm -hmm. there are lots of ways they can do this but yeah that's that's the gist of it is mm -hmm. that we have a variable in play yep that has still not been fired Chekhov's demon is out there and we need <laughs> that's to, right we need to we need to see how it gets used mm -hmm. um tahomaru oh man the poor guy the poor guy like his family like like his brother and sister basically yep. nearly died mm -hmm. at the hands of this guy who he just sees as basically the you know to quote my tales of berseria fans they watch with me this is their lord of calamity coming around and just you know wrecking everything and what is he supposed to think other than that right so yeah oh boy yeah that's it yep um Let's save Dororo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all without for, without without further ado, let's get into this. Ah, regular horses. Mm. Mm. So pedestrian. Oh my god, that is a deep cut. That's a bleeder. Yeah. Aniki. Yeah. If he dies, I'm I'm rioting. Yeah, he, he better not die. Mm -hmm. Oh! No way. Whoa. Oh. Wait, how did Kyakumaru climb out of there? I rise from the canyon. Ah! Oh. oh, that sound. <laughs> oh, right. oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why are these guards so wholesome and just, uh -huh. just simple but good? You she know? died of infection. Oh my god, yeah, she's gonna die. Jeez. Oh man. Maybe that's what the, the deal will be for. <gasps> to, br oh. to restore them, you know? Oh, don't. <laughs> Oh my god, no! よく申したヒョウゴ。若が気づかれる。戦の前、大悟の国。最後まで見届け申し上げることはもはや叶いませんが。必ず。Oh, nice. 
Wow. She's making like swear it like yep. as her final wish. Oh. Nice. Oh. No way. No way. No way. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Oh. That's so amazing. <laughs> 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 Draping Doro in her. Yeah. Flowing robes. Yeah, yeah. That was some quick thinking, too. <laughs> Brilliant. It's like, you know that window leads out to, like, nothing, right? Like, what are you looking at? <laughs> I was just staring at that wall there. Yeah. わたくしは第五の国と民を取り百鬼丸を捨てました。それはもう何があろう。ゆでや。両親の妻として私は悔いはしません。本当にそう思ってんのかい。うん。無駄だな。No あの子と旅をしている子供がいると聞いて本当に私はあなたにどれだけ感謝したりしたりないおおいいなどうやって言うんですかそうだ兄貴にさ兄貴のお母ちゃんが助けてくれたって言ってもいいかなそれはああ若
Wow. That's the definition of love right there. Maybe you can. Uh. What? Oh. Oh, gotcha, the horse, yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Is that the... Is that the horse? I think so. Oh my god. Wow. What the... What? Okay. This is full on, like, apocalypse stuff right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I summon you to fulfill oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, crap, no. Oh, no. Not making, I've already made it. Yeah. Yeah, get back. Yep. Back. We need something that can match match Yakimaru's. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. So what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I have no idea. Aniki,が生まれた時のこと。え、あれ、兄貴に会えたら直接言ってやってくれねえか。Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. This you guy. stole Doro, yeah. Oh. 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 All he's... right. Well, um what? Huh. This is so over the top, man. Yeah. It's like, we're in the end game now. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, were they what? all? Were they what? all? What is going on? Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Those eyes. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh, no. 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 Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, let's not. Let's yeah. not. Oh no! There oh, they are. are his arms. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh man. And yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This episode just went full like out there. Yeah. And... <laughs> I right. I had an expectation of uh, how this would go. Even with the nightmare flaming demon horse of the apocalypse. It didn't include this. No. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, okay. so let's recap. What are the main big things here? We have the mom saving Doro. Uh, uh, right. I got a, uh, 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 a situation. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, my man. Yeah. yeah. They got fire. Oh my god, there's three of them. Oh my god, there's three of them coming. Uh, I'm looking at the eyes, just... Oh. Just... Well, that too, but just the fact that yeah. all three of them showed up. Yeah, yeah, and... So, so, okay. 
Hyakimaru rides in on a spectral steed of flaming demonic death flaming of... tornado death, carving up Daigo's army. And on a pale horse he rode. His yeah. name was Hyakimaru. <laughs> I just had shivers there. What the he heck? He was here to F shit up. Yeah. So, so, that, that was a thing. Uh-huh. But then we used the motivations of, of... The, the bodyguard, the yeah. sister, having her be the one that actually was like, no, I'll make the deal. The deal mm-hmm. was rejected because... Right. Like, well, she's yeah. not a Daigo yeah. for one. And, and, and it cannot be amended or whatever. The contract has been written. So if you want to get my help, you will need to make it so that the contract is upheld. Yep. Okay. So all their souls are essentially like marked for death or something or d- damnation or what have you. Like like the well, idea that this this demon is going to win out no matter which way this goes. They will end up dead, probably fed like to the demon or what have you when they die. Well, or or they'll succeed and then their souls will Well, right, cuz cuz in this situation here, Hyakimaru is going to kill them in order to get his body back, or at least that's what he wants to do. Now that now I could see them doing something where mm-hmm. if they don't want Hyakimaru to be completely restored, yeah, he gets his eyes back because that doesn't involve killing anyone necessarily. Oh uh, yeah, I think it kind of does uh, now. No, no, he just sort of itachis it and just sort of, you know, um, but uh, uh, and then maybe and then maybe it's something where you know it's like, th- no, no, yeah, they're dead. They're, oh yeah. boy, um, yeah, mm. yeah. This is kind of sad because here's the thing: Tahomaru is a character that mm-hmm. is kind of that tragic duder protagonist kind of, right. you know, what have you. But he's, but he's like, like Hyakumaru is the antagonist at this point. Almost it feels like uh, like 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 I expected Tahomaru to to get to fall farther, you know. But this, he's like, yeah. This is this is something where they're they're trying to make us be terrified of Hyakumaru, and as we rightfully should, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh-huh. But to think about why it's sad is not just to make him the antagonist. It's uh-huh. that we have this character who all of his actions make perfect sense. Yeah. Like, the only one that might have been, you know, a little bit in question was, you know, way earlier when, he, you know, he wasn't as in the know of what was going on there. Mm. But even that, Tahomaru, Tahomaru's going to die and he's going to die for for nothing. He's going to die for the fact that his father just mm-hmm. screwed up his older brother's life. Yep. To the point where to the point where this happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, you look at the story and it's a bunch of freak accidents that basically lead one into the other to you know, basically the destruction of all that Daigo's uh, built. Mm-hmm. It's almost as if, you know, it's just fate rewriting itself back right. into the way that it was before fate was mucked with you know uh-huh. yeah and, yeah and in some ways this horse even is just a more example of you know the, the causality if you will just coming back right. and being like oh and we're going to make it definite that like mm-hmm. none of this should have existed or what have you but tahomaru tahomaru would have been just a happy heir of you know all of this in fact yeah he would have been mm-hmm. happy just a happy boy not being the heir with you know if Yakimaru was, was just yeah uh-huh. yeah yep yeah and, yeah and it's it's just it's just so messed up because there are genuine relationships in this show but there's only a couple of them mm-hmm. and two of them are with Tahomaru and his bodyguards right like like the percentage of genuine long-lasting relationships in this show is so small yeah. That the fact that a huge chunk of them come percentage wise come from the pseudo antagonist right. the the Darth Vader, if you will, enforcer of, you know, Palpatine, basically. Mm-hmm. It is just Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, um there was yeah. some crazy crazy visuals this this episode. Oh some yeah. really wonky art at points, but mm-hmm. you know, it was it was good. Um, there was uh, a cool bit of just good conversations back and forth between Dororo yes. and uh, Hyakimaru's mm-hmm. mom. Yep, yep. Which, and I love that that yeah. bit that we got to see with, with Jukai, you know, of, of him just sort of being there and realizing, like, a little bit of maybe what's going on. You yeah. Know? Um, he's, he's, he's not, you know, yeah. he's... 
He's not running away. Uh-huh. He's going to. He's he's going to join. He's them, going think, to be and, involved and, in this. Oh man! This, ah. like I thought that this episode was going to be the crazy episode, but but this episode almost just feels like build up. Like as crazy as this episode was, you know, like like a lot of crazy yeah, stuff happened this episode. Where it's all, where it but all goes next now. episode is going to be insane. Like. They've basically covered two big, I would say, conflicts that I thought were going to be dragged out or it may be just later on. Mm-hmm. And that is the uh, 12th Demon thing. Right. The battle conflict between mm-hmm. Asakura and um, yeah. Daigo. And it seems like all of that is just converging just at once. Yep. Yeah. And this is not a slow-paced show in terms of how it handles these types of conflicts. So it's nope. all going to be over next episode, for the most part. Like, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. What happens? Is this basically the one where Hyakimaru has to be talked down off of a ledge? Basically, like he gets his body back, but Prob- at what cost? Right. And, and we we now have this new monster here that mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah. I do not know. Um, and, so, and the fact so, that, like, is there any sliver of a chance Tahomaru will live? Yes. Okay. Yes. M- convince me, because I feel like he's one hundred percent dead now. Um, please. Because, in some ways, even though Giacomaro has killed plenty of people before, mm-hmm. he's never killed named characters. I, n- not that I can remember. It's kind of a weird way to think about it, but like, are you sure about that? Well, I'm not 100 percent sure because there have been a lot of episodes, but like, I mean, I mean, I mean they named a lot of like the demons that he was up against. But the mm-hmm. thing is, is that like, he's he like no no real characters have been killed at the hands of Hyakimaru. I feel like. So I mean, this is the end of the show too. So right. So if they were going to do it, they would do it here. Yeah. But they could basically because because a lot of times in stories i feel like it can go to something maybe because of how it works with the audience and and things like that where if you have the hero go past the line and then pull them back that's that's less satisfying than them going right up to the line Mm. and then pulling them back right and the line in this case could be killing people where we actually know that there are other people that you know love and care about them even though these other soldiers, there's plenty of people that cared about them. We don't see those people, therefore it's easy to ignore, right? Okay, but then in that case, Hyakimaru never gets his full body back. Um, right, and if they wanted to do the angle of Hyakimaru coming to terms with the fact of him being whole in here, mm-hmm. if, even if he's not whole physically, um, then they could do that. And they could also, But they could also potentially have ways of him getting his body back without killing them. It's uh, unlikely that they would do that, but given yeah, it would that... would have to be that, because... Right. Because I, since this is a situation that we haven't seen before of actual people being imbued with the body parts, right? Rather than a, a demon or a ghoul or whatever. Sure. Then, then, there's, then, then the precedent that he can't get them back without killing them is kind of broken. If that makes sense. So, there is a, it is, there is a possibility, mm. especially if... if Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I think you're now reassured. You've now reaffirmed my my thought that Tahomaru is basically dead with that line of reasoning because mm. I find a, I found a lot of holes in it, and specifically with Tahomaru being a character that is a tragic character. Yeah, I I think that it's most likely that Tahomaru will die, but but there's an out if they want to take it. Given that the kind of show this is, I don't think they will. Yeah, I don't but if they, they wanted either. to, they could. Okay. Who's who survives this thing? Hyakimaru and Dororo. Dororo. I don't even know about Hyakimaru. Oh my gosh, really? He'll probably survive. No, because see, this is but the thing. But he doesn't have to. Hyakimaru's thing is that I, I think it's more about whether or not he can actually be with Dororo. Not about whether or not he'll live. Okay. Because I feel like Hyakimaru's whole, his whole journey is just getting his body back. He has to get that. Like, I, I I, almost can't see this going without him getting his body back. But I think it's a at-what-cost kind of thing, and Dororo will have to say goodbye. Like Right. Well, like, and, then, and then at that point, it's a choice. Will Hyakimaru decide to get his body back, or will he decide that the cost is too high? Oh, sure. That's you know. a... That's actually a... 
that's an angle I didn't even think about. You know, it's not about whether or not Tahomaru will die because of the eyes being with him. It's about whether or not Hyakimaru will be talked down from this ledge right before he does that, and yeah. then and then this is two levels, and then he decides. I can, you know, I can live actually without my my actual right. eyes. Yeah, that would be. Oh my god! If we want the happiest of happy endings with Taho Maru getting like redeemed and actually having that little bit of foreshadowing of mm-hmm. you're going to create the land that will be, you know, dying yeah. and what have you, mm-hmm. that would like that would be amazing. And then it would basically be a an ending where either the parents they get excommunicated or what have you, and they just. Sure, you know, they're banished or what have you, and yeah. the mother too, and that would probably be part of her, her punishment is that she realizes, no, I chose my husband in the land. I'm gonna stay with him, and you know, yeah, maybe, maybe. Do, do but but she already kind of gave that up because because I she feel did, like yeah. I feel like in the mid season finale that was her saying I, her doing that, you right. know, and then this was her being like, no, I, I have to, I go. need to see him, I need to see him, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're and they're potentially bringing in all the characters that could try to talk to or Jukai down from the Jukai, the actual mom, yeah, the uh-huh. actual, yep, yep. oh yep. Jukai, yeah, ah, yeah, okay, okay. I want to see an epic fight though. Like, oh yeah, I'm, oh, I'm it's half, going to be amazing. I'm half expecting like like anime energy powers at this point. I mean, they basically already have that. Hyakimaru freaking Hyakimaru had, wasn't like, doing that though. That I don't was, know. That was the horse. I don't know. That was because the horse. The, because the horse was like all orange and everything, but Hyakimaru was all glowing red and black and whatnot. No, no, no. I know. But all the things that were actually being physically done to the... Uh-huh. On, a, on an elemental scale. Right, right, That right. was the horse. Yes. The red energy stuff, I think, is more of the... Yeah, he's surrendering to the demon within. Uh-huh. And yeah. it's being showcased here in that, you know, look so that we get a... Right. Ah. It doesn't take someone with spirit vision to see it. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Right. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh, for boy. the audience and it's slightly not, but it is mm-hmm. not a, yeah, it yeah. is not a power up in that regard. Uh huh. Um, but oh man. Okay. The They're... bodyguards got their, uh, yeah, Hyogo and, uh, the, the sister. They no, got, watch. They got their, uh, their limbs back. Watch, the limbs are there, but there's like that energy thing there. So Hyakimaru's just gonna slice that part and then stick it back onto his arm. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. <laughs> He's gonna take some chopsticks and be like, alright, now just hold still, Tahomaru, bite down on the stick. It's gonna but, be over soon. But you realize that those <laughs> arms could be ha- Hyakimaru's arms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, I'm saying he he cuts off. Yeah, yeah. He cuts off his own arms from them. Right. And then. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you knew. Like, oh, I'm no, pretty yeah. sure they're. Yeah. Saying, no, those are actual. Yes. No, yes. I, I got that. I got that. So all yeah. three of them have to die, unless he figures out some non-lethal way to get them back. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Which is probably not going to happen. But if they do something, no. But there's no. They they brought up the whole idea of the demon being summoned, and the demon's like, can't do that. Sorry, I don't have Hyakumaru's body. But if it was something like that, then maybe Hyakumaru could kill the demon. So what if it was something where he had to give up some part of his body? No, because it you'd take the whole body. That's um, actually an interesting thought. The idea of killing the demon goes into the Hall of Hell and them. just cuts up the statue. Yeah. Yeah, you know? the idea that he finds out that, like, okay, here's an example. Here's an example. Yeah. Hyakimaru just decimates Hyogo. Starts with Hyogo. Mm-hmm. Tahomaru cannot stop Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru mm-hmm. is in full-on vengeance, I'm going to make you hurt mode. Yep. And he's killing them while Tahomaru is being made to watch. Like, I'm making this mm-hmm. really dark here. Okay. And then Tahomaru starts to beg. He's like, please, 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 don't kill my family, please. I'll take you to the demon. I'll t- I'll show you how to end this. Like his brain starts to click, and I don't think it would ever go this way. I think this yeah. way, no way, this would go. This would go down. But I think this would how be how, how it would go uh-huh. down. Dororo or someone else goes, yeah, yeah, Hyakimaru, listen to him. Yeah, maybe there's a way we can do this. And Hyakimaru just kind of looks at them like, <laughs> the power of friendship. And not yeah, come on, remember and all that. And yeah. he just like cuts off the head. Of uh, uh, what's her name? Mutsu. I think it was Mutsu. Yeah, and then he begins, and then he begins eating the. the no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. no. No, that's the Lord of Calamity, y'all. <laughs> Tales of Berseria. Oh. Okay. Um, 
We've got Doro uh, back. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got characters moving on here. Yep. We've got a lot of the main cast moving towards the end game here. Daigo himself is actually a Still bit MIA or yeah. just on the front lines at the moment. He's like, at the he's at the bon, uh, the, the mm -hmm. place where the fox. Maybe he'll just get killed by Asakura. I almost you know? kind of don't want that to happen. Okay, maybe maybe he gets stabbed by an, someone from Asakura with a knife, and then his. Self from the future comes in to save him from Asakura, uh, and then he has to go back in time later in order to fix everything. No. Okay. What, what yeah. I would what I would love to see is to see him have a moment, a scene, even if it's just a small scene. Uh huh. If it's him monologuing, if it's him talking to Hyakimaru, if it's whatever, of him just having this moment of like I made a huge mistake, like looking around and just realizing oh, he's too proud for that. No, no, no. no. But that, I want to see him. Because this would be him post battle. Sure. They've lost. And Hyakumaru and comes was... up and like drops the head of Tahomaru like at his feet or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Like, that. like something uh -huh. where it's that bad. And and maybe even in some ways like have something really depressing where it's that like, yeah, your wife even abandoned you while you were gone. You you never see her again. She's she's out there and then you uh. you're alone. You're alone. And, and and what what did you think was gonna happen? Like something from Hyakimaru just being like, what "My did name you think is Hyakimaru of Daigo." You took my body. Prepare, Prepare to, to die. die. Yeah, yeah. And I would like to see a cool kind of twist on the whole thing of the vengeance side of things. Mm -hmm. Is Hyakimaru just looking at him, full body, just looking over him and giving him the image of like, "This is what you could have had. We could have been family." You could have had this as your son, right here, and and yes. no. But the point is, is that mm -hmm. I want Daigo to then go, like, like just basically like just defeated and just kind of slump, mm -hmm. just realizing that, like how much of a how much he's failed here. And then I want Hyakimaru mm -hmm. to give him one of his arm swords and just throw it at his feet and walk away. And then we just hear a slight just <laughs> shh, and you know, no, no visuals, no nothing. Just, 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 just Hyakimaru just being like, just well, take it. And and the crazy thing here is He's that like, you deserve way worse, but there you go. And then he just walks uh -huh. away. Well, and, That'd be and like if, the most badass way to do it. I'll give you. Uh, what do you want? Money? You want? Uh, you know, land? Power? You know? <laughs> I want my body back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, but the the crazy thing though mm. is that Hyakimaru has everything he needs right in front of him right here. Needs? If, yeah, his body. Like if he gets his body back from killing Tahomaru and the others right here, uh -huh. he has no reason to actually go after Daigo other than vengeance, other than just to make him well, hurt. Because at that point he's yeah. gotten everything back. Well, yeah, right, yeah. right. So he could closure. totally. Up, well, sure. Just sure. talking with him and yeah. just gotten over the vengeance thing and the power of Nakama. I, 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 I hope via he, Mama Jukai saving him. Just someone holding Yagimaru I and just crying in his arms. You know, you know it would be hilarious. Like they wouldn't do this, but oh, no. You know they've had Hyakimaru carrying oh, that no. sword around, right? Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's nothing too crazy. But okay. they've had Hyakimaru carrying that sword around, and and it feels like obvious foreshadowing for that. So that when he gets his body back, he still has a sword to fight right. with, right? Sure. But that would be so awkward if he gets his body back and he has his arms and then suddenly it's like, oh, crap, I don't have... They're all emaciated and he's like... Yeah, well, no, 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 no. He's like, I can't hold these swords with my arms because I have my arms back. So I don't have any weapons. What do I do? I can't kill you, Tomorrow. <laughs> then it becomes really edgy and Jukai gives him a small hammer. Sure, or Tahomaru strangles, uh, or or Hyakimaru strangles Tahomaru. Goes Tahomaru. Yeah, to get his eyes back. Oh no, no. no. Ugh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, but this can get right. pretty messed up. This get pretty messed up. Yeah, and y'all, that that it was kind our, of already has. Yeah, that was our <laughs> wacky discussion for this episode here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot to look forward to. In, so, in a lot of ways, like how could we even like after this episode, how could we have any preconceptions or or ideas about what's going to happen next? Yeah, because it just blew everything out of the water with this. Yeah.
So thank you all for watching uh. this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us about these stories, about anime in general. You can also talk with Jacob about the book he wrote. That's right. My sci-fi novel, Battle Lines, is available mm -hmm. for purchase on Amazon. The link is in the description below. It's in both hardback and ebook form, so yeah. be sure to check that out. And there's some great reviews, so... Check those out and leave one of your own. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.